Alright, so hi, this is Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and we're looking at a Curtis Scanner working on something along the lines of a Gutenberg Bible here. Hmm. I have my travel shaky hand, so I'm sorry about that, but you see the process. So there's the robot arm moving the pages, and there are scanners up above. You can see the mirror up there, maybe. Digital camera scope. Oh, that's not a mirror at all. That's or it is a mirror. No, I'm looking through a big hole. So 21 megapixel cameras. What is one of these puppies cost, may I ask? Um, they vary between 87,000 and 179, depending on the model of the cameras. There's a a server down there, yeah. and then two controllers for the cameras. Just for remote access. So depending on what the needs are for the consumers. There's the two different parts. This is the yeah. capture. So hi, capturing high quality image. Yeah. Because in our perception, quality is not in the eye of the beholder. Good enough right. is not good enough because you have to have really good quality image to do the OCR afterwards. Sure. What are the scanner? What is it? What do you end up if you can translate into a sort of line per inch type? Um, they're basically you can do up to 600 DPI. Okay. You know, sure. Natively with these, yeah, 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 it's, it's more than between three and four hundred is the yeah, average. Yeah, yeah. So you get up to six hundred. And then what we do is after you capture the images, we'll process the document. So you remove the yellow background, adjust the contrast. And if you have color images, we can remove the images first, yeah. then clean off the background, get rid of the speckles, de-skew the pages, adjust the contrast, then you run the OCR. So now your accuracy is much, much higher. Tell me something. Do you, do you have an error detection mechanism for uncut pages? I read a lot of classic books, and I've been running into library books lately that have Especially uncut the old pages. Ones. Yeah. Well, these are not unattended operators. Ah. There's always an operator on it, so we look at the books before you process put them in. Okay. And then also, there's a page head sensor on the top of this thing. So when you yeah. first set it up, um, it, it detects the thickness of the page. You set parameters, and then with each page, this is looking at the amount of light that's showing through the page. Yeah. So it can determine if it's picking up more than one page. Yeah. And if it does, then it, it, it pauses and sets something for the uh, for the operator to check out what's going on. So, investigating it, if you miss the page, you can pick it up in the process. It's really quite a light, a bright light. I mean, I know it's giving the camera yeah. some trouble. Does it have a, a simple wattage uh, description for it? Or? Uh, yeah, it does. I don't know what it is off the top of your head. I can, I can yeah, get that no, for you. Not but not well, yeah. um, we do this to hit consistent lighting. Uh huh. And it's actually it doesn't affect the cameras, but it gives you consistent. A lot of places where you take it, you'll get different lighting on different pages. Uh -huh. It's always consistent. And then, then what you do, depending on what you want to do with it, if you just want print on demand, you don't need the OCR. Right, right. But if you want to be able to view it online, when we OCR, we put the OCR behind it. So when you're viewing it online, you still see the original image. And then for searching, you have the OCR behind that. Nice. And then if you want to make an ebook out of it, then you use that OCR text. You can convert it into the That's part of what we're working on. Yeah, how long has uh, Curtis been doing this? 2001. It's a pretty new company. Yeah, relatively new. What we did is we came up with a website yesterday. Yeah. Curtis Books. And what we do for libraries or publishers 